This amazing platform helped me to 10x my learning. In this video, I will rank software development learning resources from the favorite one to the least favorite one and help you determine which one is for you. I will ranking them like back in the school. S is the best and E and F not so much. Also, quick reminder, I will be ranking them based on my own experience. It does not mean what works for me, it will work for you as well. You have to find out what approach of studying is best for you. So let's begin. Free Code Academy. It's a great site for learning. If you are someone who can learn better when you read and when you complete tasks, then this website is absolutely for you. It will cover everything you need to become a software developer. I recommend to start with responsive web design. It also covers new libraries like React and also backend development, APIs and many more. At the end of the each course you will complete projects and then you will receive a certification, which is absolutely great. I love this website because if you're just starting out, you want to minimize your spendings and you want to try it first then you can decide if it's for you or not. I will give this C. The reason is sometimes I get quickly bored just to read. And often time it leads to me leaving the site and doing something else. That's just me. Otherwise, it's a great site to start with. Skillshare. In the beginning stage of my learning, I came to this site and I found a really great course for HTML and CSS which was 10 hours long and helped me a lot. Thanks for that. However, I found a couple of courses that does not go that deep or they are so short that it doesn't even cover the topic. I love to learn via tutorials, especially when the teacher is going to give you tasks to complete on your own. But it's not like that on every course I took on Skillshare. It really depends on the teacher that you find on the platform. Bro, look at Let me see. Look at that. See that shit? We the going up from that? here, bro. What you mean, bro? Look, it's... It's money going up, but we only going up, I don't, bro. I don't want to be sound that on Skillshare teachers are not that good, but I didn't have really great experience. The price is $32 a month or $168 annually. I will give it B. I need to consider the price and the teachers that I experienced, they were not that good. CodePen. I heard that some people are learning from CodePen. You have got challenges that are given to you and you have to complete them. You don't need to install any code editor because CodePen has its own integrated. You can also see other people code and you can learn from that. I would not start with CodePen if you are just a beginner. Here and there these days I go to CodePen and I look at other projects and I'm learning from them. But if you are just a beginner I would get scared of the site and I would just leave and never come back. That's why I will give it D. But if you have got just a little bit of experience CodePen is a great tool and definitely belongs to your arsenal. Udemy, one of my favorite platform. I feel like Udemy is a dominant place to learn software development. I bought countless courses on the platform. The price can vary. Some days you can buy the same course for $14, otherwise it will cost you $77. The courses are most of the time really long. That means it usually covers the whole topic. For instance, I bought this course from Michael about React, which cost me $14 and is almost 50 hours long and has 490 lectures. And it covers many libraries and gives you many projects to build. But it also really depends on the teachers that you choose, like in Skillshare. I'll give it A because I was able to get more value from it. Team Treehouse. This amazing platform helped me to 10x my learning. Just to clarify, I'm not promoting this platform because they paid me or because I'm using affiliate link, which I do not. I'm promoting it because it helped me a lot and I want the best for you so you can accelerate your learning. Why do I think it's that good? I found that teachers are amazing on a platform. The learning is interactive. That means you've got a lot of quizzes, challenges, to keep you engaged. That's my opinion, the best way to learn. 
Also, I really like to have everything in one place. If you are learning coding, oftentimes you buy a course and then you need to buy another one. Or for instance, you're learning JavaScript on YouTube and then you need to find jQuery or for APIs or Ajax. Team Treehouse has everything nicely organized. So if you're planning to learn JavaScript, there is everything in there. So you don't need to go to one video on YouTube, then the another one and just blindly search. That's why I think the learning is way faster. We'll give it S because I benefit from this platform a lot. Monthly subscription is $25 per month, which is slightly higher, but you get what you pay for. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the like button and subscribe. Also, let me know in the comment section below which platform do you prefer so we can learn from each other. Peace.